So, uh, I'm Jens Nickman Recky, Product uh, Manager for uh, the Plastic Laser Sintering uh, offered by uh, Broadways. Yes. And uh, this is the first uh, in totally internally developed uh, machine by Broadways coming from the Norja project. Uh, yep. Norja was acquired by Broadways uh, two years ago. And uh, this is the evolution of the ice time. Actually, it was a big evolution when we have been acquired by uh, Broadways. The target was to go industrial in terms of Availability, size, uh, process, uh, and everything. So, uh, our previous machine was more like a desktop one, even if it was self handling. Uh, this is an industrial machine. Uh, we tried to keep the original idea to having uh, an open structure. Uh, actually, the software is no more open source, uh, it's by uh, Broadways, but uh, the material strategy is still open. So, actually, you can bring all the material that you want in, with this machine. At the beginning, we will open just with P12, but just for uh, process sake. Uh, there will be development devices that you, you can access all the parameters you want. Uh, you won't have access maybe to the start and stop of the laser. It might be too technical, but all the parameters that you want to change for uh, using your own material, you will be able to do it. Uh, you will be also able to replace the roller that you have uh, with the blade. In case of fiber charge materials, it can be a good choice. Uh, I would stick with the roller 99% of the time, but you will have the possibility to, uh, to use it. We worked a lot of on this machine. We added a lot of extra stuff that we didn't have on our uh, ice time. So we have uh, 10 eaters on uh, the park bed. We have eaters uh, from the top for the feeders, left and right feeders. We also have uh, uh, heating from the bottom. So we have 10 heaters on the feeding pistons and three vent heaters on uh, the building pistons. Uh, we have a force sensor for measuring the temperature and have a good mapping of the temperature on the part bed. Yes. And we have two sensors for uh, one sensor for each uh, feeder. Uh, so, uh, as I said, that this is a recorder, a roller, counter rotating uh, yes. roller. It's uh, a good one, in our opinion, because in case of slight curling, uh, it compresses the part instead of scratching everything and ruining your uh, your job. Uh -huh. uh, so this is why, as I said before, I would stick with the recorder forever. Uh, also, thinking about the PA12 uh, is 99% uh, of market, uh, we think is a good solution. In terms of uh, optics and laser, we have a f theta lens for focusing the laser. The laser beam is 450 microns. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a scanner which is 3.5 meters per second. Uh, this allows us to have a speed, the production speed of 0 0.5, 0 0.7 liter per hour. Uh, so this is not a machine for a highly productive environment, but uh, is a machine for uh, people that want to keep uh, a low entry price compared to the competition yeah. and a big value because the print volume that we have here is 27 liter which is 80 percent more of uh, let's say the first small machine industry that you have on the market and the price is 30 percent less nice. so we have these two points that makes in our opinion things interesting as I said, this is totally internally developed in uh, mechanics, software, electronics. So we developed uh, a custom electronic board for uh, controlling all the sensor. Actually, we were starting with the uh, Arduino platform. We had a bunch of Arduino on our... Uh, but for this uh, application, we wanted to go uh, with, uh, with a custom board uh, developed internally. Like Okay. So, this is the software that we developed, basically is a process uh, control software, yeah. so it doesn't allow you to place part and be the, do the nesting, uh, in, uh, collision check and everything. You might want to do it with uh, NetFab, Magix or other software. Uh -huh. They do this job very well and so we didn't, we didn't feel like to reinventing the wheel again. But what you can do here is uh, having the slice directly on this machine. Uh, we have developed a GPU software that does the, the slicing directly on our machine, so you don't need to pre-slice. This will allow us, allow us to have a um, capability of adding parts on the fly, removing parts on the fly, and to have a 
very flexible way of controlling the, the print process. Uh, another interesting feature is that you can change the parameters for each part that you have in your build and assign styles. So if you have big parts, small parts, very fine detailed parts, you can choose for each part what is the style to be applied. The only thing that you cannot change for the build is the layer thickness. Right. So mm. this will be applied to all the building. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Yeah.